By 2035, the world is expected to face a shortage of roughly 75 million workers, creating major gaps in fields like elderly care, logistics, and construction. As automation becomes a necessity, various humanoid robots are being developed, each with different levels of capability. For instance, Figure 01 lacks real-world production data despite its potential as a warehouse assistant, and Digit V4 by Agility Robotics, although bipedal, remains limited in dexterity. Sanctuary's Phoenix V3 features soft, human-like hands but struggles with durability and safety. In contrast, Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 has quietly advanced through pilot production, showing signs that it could be ready for broader deployment. Priced at around $20 per hour of operation and designed for continuous use, the robot could pay for itself in just 18 months, a compelling proposition for both industrial and domestic applications. Optimus Gen 3 is increasingly capable, with regular software updates adding features like cleaning and even basic home maintenance. A recent viral video showed the robot performing real household chores, stirring food, vacuuming, wiping surfaces, tasks that would have easily disrupted earlier versions. Elon Musk's enthusiasm was clear when he stated that a robot capable of acting like your own personal assistant, something akin to C-3PO or R2-D2, is no longer far-fetched. His confidence is rooted in both Tesla's hardware advancements and its powerful data infrastructure. While other robotics firms showcase carefully orchestrated lab environments, Tesla is demonstrating live, unedited footage of its bots working in actual homes, marking a turning point in public perception. No longer confined to concept status, the Optimus bot appears to be genuinely useful. Tesla's vision hinges not just on physical engineering, but also on software that enables learning from observation. Musk recently emphasized a pivotal leap, if a robot can learn from YouTube videos just like a person, watching a tutorial and mimicking it, the scope of what it can do multiplies dramatically. That kind of learning extensibility is now in reach, thanks to the fusion of Tesla's AI systems with powerful computing platforms. He believes this could unlock near-human flexibility in robotic behavior, supported by XAI's ongoing development of world-scale models. NVIDIA's unveiling of Cosmos at CES 2025 has played a key role in pushing robotics forward. This AI suite of world models doesn't just see and identify objects, it understands physical interactions like gravity and friction, enabling lifelike, consistent robotic behavior. Released under an open license, Tesla quickly adapted it with their enormous trove of real-world data, much of it sourced from its cars and robots. The result is a highly efficient AI model that learns faster and performs better, with Tesla's Dojo supercomputer processing tens of millions of scenarios every night. Once a learned behavior passes safety protocols, it is deployed for testing, often at Tesla's Fremont facility. These developments are already yielding results. Internally, Tesla reports that Optimus Gen 3 only needs about 40 minutes of training to understand how to handle a completely new object, whether that's a kettle or something more challenging like a dog leash. In a May 2025 video filmed in a Tesla employee's actual home, Optimus was seen handling five different household tools without any major errors. In the factory, the robot sorts Model Y interior clips at 23 items per minute, a pace approaching human efficiency. Meanwhile, the bots also collect ergonomic data to inform future joint designs, improving motion precision and durability. Virtual training has progressed just as quickly, in one test, 500 bots completed a shape-sorting task with 98% accuracy after only 16 hours of CPU time, an 80x improvement over previous results. What allows Tesla's robot to appear so intelligent and responsive is not magic, it's scale. At a repurposed facility in Memphis known as Colossus, Tesla and XAI now operate a computing cluster comprising over 200,000 high-performance GPUs. This setup offers a staggering quarter exaflop of computing power, four times more than the U.S. Department of Energy's Aurora supercomputer. However, that's just phase one. Permit filing suggests the complex will soon house 1 million GPUs, supported by a dedicated 500 megawatt substation and hundreds of millions in new power infrastructure. That's more electricity than entire cloud campuses used by Meta or Google. Every element, 
from energy efficiency to compute throughput, has been optimized to train robots like Optimus quickly and cost-effectively. The architecture is complex but intentional. Tesla uses a hybrid computing mesh, its own dojo chips process perception data with energy-efficient convolutional networks, NVIDIA Blackwell GPUs handle trajectory learning, and AMD's MI300X chips manage memory-intensive critic simulations. Together, this mesh achieves massive internal bandwidth and allows Tesla to process full sensory inputs from millions of robot hours every night. The system's job is to absorb everything Optimus sees, hears, and feels, video at 120 frames per second, depth mapping, inertial data, audio, and translate that torrent of data into behavior models. Compressing 18 gigabytes per minute per robot into usable policy updates within hours demands supercomputer scale muscle. In traditional cloud setups, this training would take 9 days. Tesla needs it done by morning. Tesla's cost structure is also a key advantage. Their internal training costs amount to just 83 cents per billion tokens, about 40% less than cloud alternatives, a gap that grows exponentially across multi-trillion token training regimens. While Meta, Google, and Microsoft focus on tech-centric AI clusters, Tesla is focused on embodied intelligence. Training that includes vision, touch, proprioception, and audio. These data streams are several times heavier than language models, so Tesla's compute headroom directly converts into more varied and lifelike robot behaviors. The proof is in the performance. Optimus Gen 3 now adapts to unfamiliar objects in under an hour, down from over 5 hours in Gen 2, and handles 23 items per minute in production tasks while consuming less than 10 watts per kilogram at the joints. These are not small gains, they represent a scaling law. The robot's growing ability to act independently is not a mysterious AI leap, it's the outcome of massive parallel learning, data feedback, and continuous refinement. With its hybrid compute stack and million GPU goal, Tesla has created the infrastructure needed to teach a robot not just how to perform a task, but how to adjust, improvise, and operate safely in a human environment. On April 23, 2025, Elon Musk confirmed these developments during Tesla's Q1 shareholder meeting. A photo showed nine Gen 3 bots on an assembly line at the Fremont factory, with Musk later elaborating that Tesla would build several thousand bots by the end of 2025. These robots would first be deployed in Tesla's own factories, doing real tasks. Production will expand in 2026, when Tesla expects to start offering the bots to external businesses and later, individual households. Inside Fremont's factory, Tesla has carved out a 2,000-square-meter section specifically for pilot production of Optimus Gen 3. This area features highly specialized manufacturing cells, a fiber placement head fabricates carbon fiber femurs in just over three minutes with near-perfect yield, a high-powered laser welds harmonic drive gears into hip assemblies in under three minutes, and the robot spinal power bus is manufactured in two minutes with 99% accuracy. A final station calibrates fingertip sensitivity to within a third of a newton. Though 80% of the Gen 3's parts are custom-made, Tesla reuses several key systems from the Model Y, such as battery packs and cooling setups, to reduce vendor complexity. Currently, Tesla's production line builds about 500 bots per month, double what Boston Dynamics produces. Tesla's initial deployment is for internal logistics, moving parts, assembling kits, and other pick-and-place tasks. For example, Optimus can now pick and sort components for Model Y vehicles within 18% of human speed. Importantly, the bots also gather detailed torque and motion data, which Tesla engineers use to redesign mechanical parts and improve joint efficiency. External deployments will begin only after each robot hits a statistical mean time between failures, MTBF, of 4,000 hours. Once that mark is passed, Tesla will lease robots to suppliers located at its gigafactories, simplifying maintenance. Looking to the future, Tesla plans to release version 0.9 of the Optimus SDK by mid-2026. This update will include a more user-friendly interface for setting tasks, defining safety zones, and integrating feedback. 
Businesses that already use Tesla's energy storage systems will be the first to test the robots, as the same crews can maintain both products. Behavioral updates for the robots are kept small, under 150 megabytes, and delivered over the air, just like updates to Tesla's vehicles. The bot runs on the same chip that powers Tesla's full self-driving software, further unifying the ecosystem. Ultimately, Musk envisions selling the robot for around $25,000. To achieve this, Tesla needs to reduce manufacturing costs to about $17,000, allowing for a 35% margin. At present, each unit still costs over $118,000 to produce, primarily due to the precision engineering involved. But as volume increases and Tesla scales production, these costs are expected to fall. So, how would you feel about living with a robot that intuitively understands what you want, perhaps even before you do? Would you be excited, or uneasy? The answer may shape the future of our homes, our jobs, and our daily lives. If you found this fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates about Tesla's groundbreaking ventures.